Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. So today, unfortunately, we have a lot of uh, bad news drama that I was not expecting. Logan Paul apparently got scammed out of three and a half million dollars buying Pokemon cards just like this first edition box that I got right here, which by the way, in 1999 or like 98, retailed for $110. Uh, but anyway, this video is about to be a train wreck. So how about this, guys? Hit the like button, smash, smash the subscribe button, and uh, now let's begin. So yeah, we're in Chicago. You see the title of the video. Uh, this story is already Logan Paul posted a few hours ago, and it's it's number one on trending. People need to see this. The average person doesn't have three and a half million dollars to get scammed from. So uh, the more people learn about this, the more we could avoid other people being scammed. I'm crazy, and it sucks. And I'm out three and a half million dollars. So make sure to go get some Prime because every dollar goes right back into my pocket. You know, it's interesting. If Logan Paul has a net worth of a hundred million dollars, let's just say. Three and a half million dollars to him would be the equivalent of someone with a hundred thousand dollar net worth losing three and a half thousand dollars. So whatever it is, take your net worth, take three and a half percent of that, and that's what the equivalent would be. Now, obviously, three and a half million dollars is three and a half million dollars. It's a lot of money, regardless of who you are. But in the bigger picture, it's probably why he's not more upset over this. Hi, to go. Not to mention, it's probably insured, so let's see. The whole thing is in here. We're sitting in the vicinity of 11 first edition base set Pokemon boxes. This, this will probably never happen again. That is crazy. So just so you know how rare these are, one of these boxes can sell anywhere between probably $300,000 and $450,000 if it were sealed and you know all the packs are in there for a first edition box. But this is the box Within the box, I mean, this this is crazy that you would have an unopened box with these things inside of it, 11 of them. The fact that any one of these is even in existence in itself is remarkable. So three and a half million bucks for this, believe it or not, could be a really good deal if it were real. He released this photo to Twitter. Just dropped three and a half million on the sealed and authenticated box of first edition Pokemon cards. This was the most anybody had ever spent on Pokemon cards ever. His editing is incredible. Jack, why, why can't we edit like that? We need cinematic stuff like this. You know, in a world where the like button wasn't smashed, you came to save the day by smashing it for the algorithm. I don't know, something like that. That's what we need to do. I'm gonna tell you why I don't trust the case, the contents, or the authentication. Gosh, this guy's a savior. Seriously, if it wasn't for him, uh, maybe none of this would be going on. So we could all credit this guy for, for what ended up transpiring. Logan Paul may have spent the 3.5 million on fake. Pokemon card. This news has now reached Logan Paul, and it seems like he's taking this very seriously. I don't know if it's the best shot to be using of him getting off a private jet holding a Louis Vuitton bag. Like, it doesn't exactly make you feel sorry for him. It's like, oh man, the guy got scammed. Uh, better leave my private jet with my Louis Vuitton bag. Like, at least some B-roll of him just, uh, Laying on the couch, taking a, <laughs> taking a nap, like anything would be better than this. He's going to fly to Chicago and sit down with BBCE to verify the validity of this box. Oh, you nervous? It's like you're watching a movie. You're watching a movie here. Logan Paul's playing. He should have at least made it eight minutes though, so you could put mid-roll ads in the video. At least do that. <laughs> about that? Yes. <laughs> So From looking at it, there's nothing suspicious about the outside of the case. Quick context, this is Matt. He's one of the biggest sports card collectors in the world, and he bought the Pokemon case for 2.7 million. He then sold it to me for 3.5 million, but he's become a close friend. Wow, imagine buying something like that, 2.7, and then flipping it. Now, I'm wondering how long he had this in his possession. If this were like a month-long thing, or he's just flipping it, or if he's held on to this for a long time. If he didn't need the money, honestly, this is something I just keep forever. I mean, it's, if it's truly one of a kind, you get the right person, they'll pay whatever for it. And apparently this that was Logan Paul in this case. And I could trust that he'd refund me if things went wrong. Trust. But that's why you get trust in writing. Even if you trust the person. You trust me, just put it down there. Let's sign so that we both know we trust each other that much to sign it. Because honestly, he might have a case not to refund it if it's just based on trust. Obviously, his reputation would go down the drain after that. But, you know... Three and a half million bucks could do a lot of things for people. We went through a uh, security check okay. in Philly. Okay. We just happened to go in a government building. <laughs> we know it's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know it's not. <laughs> the reason why I was mostly concerned was because the person who brought it to me, he 
had so many inconsistencies, so much inconsistencies in the story. Oh, uh, why wouldn't he pass this information to Logan Paul at the time of the purchase? Like, why is he waiting until now to be like, yeah, man, this guy was sketchy, giving me weird vibes, like, I wasn't sure about it, his story kept changing. Like, that, that's information that a, the buyer might want to know, right? It was like three, four different stories. That was my issue. The guys from BBCE who authenticated it are here to basically stamp their authentication. If this is fake, we're, in, we're all in trouble because it looks so good. If there's first edition packs in there, we're, we're gold. The case value of this is gonna double, triple. It, it would legitimately be verifiably 100% the only sealed case in the world that is 100% real. So here's the part I'm, I'm not following, okay? So it's like, it's a sealed case, obviously. It's worth a lot of money being sealed, but if you open it, even just to verify, doesn't that, at least in some way, lose some of the value? I mean, I know the next buyer is even more comfortable about it, but wouldn't it be even more valuable, just 100% sealed? You're from BBC. Yes, I'm the owner. Yep. You're the owner of BBC, yep. and you authenticated this. Yes, me and Michael are gonna go over when it came to my office that day, what I looked for. Oh, this guy's sweating. You could see the look on his face. He's like, oh, please, I hope I am not wrong. While Logan Paul films me for millions of people to see so I could be number one trending on YouTube, I hope I am not wrong. He is, <laughs> at this point, I think he has a 50-50 chance at like being wrong at this point. He's like, I, I messed up. And then we're gonna speak back and forth about why we like the seals. Yeah. If it's good, it's worth a lot more than the 3.5 now. In this case, <laughs> we What does that work out per pack? So three and a half million dollars uh, divided by 11, $318,000 per box, one of these boxes. So yeah, may maybe four, I don't know. I don't know how much these boxes are going for nowadays. Like, like sealed up like this one. That this tape is aged onto this case. This label too, the same embedded lines of the cardboard. But see, you gotta trust that this wasn't, you know, faked with 20 years ago. I mean, that's the big concern is like, how do you know this didn't come in? They took out the boxes and then just resealed it and put it away, hoping that one day it'll be worth a ton of money and you could, uh, you know, fake it. So, let's see. Oh my yes! god. Oh my god. Yes! Oh my god. Mother <laughs> the one guy to swear it. Just mother <laughs> the algorithm. Okay, that's a good sign. God, the, the tension. The tension in the room, like you could feel it. Just the editing again is perfect for this because no it just everything goes quiet. You're like, what's about to happen? What's about to happen? This is where they could have put a mid-roll ad right here. It, see how they're shaped all they don't look right. It don't look right. Don't oh, look right. yeah, you could see the one side on the right, right by first edition. The whole thing is kind of coming up like that. Oh. See how, see how they're, they're like, they're curvy and puffy. They're very light. Yeah, I'm looking at this, the color, like this is a lot darker. This is a real box, by the way, that we got from the Dumb Money Pokemon unboxing. And uh, we kept this box. It's so cool to see the original price tag on it. But yeah, you could see the color is just, it's not the same. It looks more like a bright lemon yellow, where this is more of like a mustard yellow. I'll put that back there very carefully. Even these boxes, by the way, are now worth like two to $3,000 just for the box. It's crazy. Okay, let's get it going. Let's open more. I mean, it sucks for Logan, because, uh, yeah, he's got to hope he gets the money back. And then it's also, like, how much would he have lost if this thing were real? Like, if he paid three and a half and it were really, you know, up four million bucks, but now it's worth nothing. So it's, like, going from four to zero, really. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, why is it bending like that? Why is it bending like that? What's inside of him? Dude. Mother Mother Motherfucker. Mother fake, bro. Uh, I want to see what's inside of them, though. I, I really hope we open them up. It, it's terrible. But whoever faked this most likely did it a very long time ago. And that's how everything is, uh, like, aged. Who would have thought that people would be doing this back then? I mean, I'm assuming it's back then, unless someone has some uh, time-traveling abilities. Let's open a box. Oh, yeah, right? Mm. Oh, f Look at this bullshit. Uh, so already, let's say he opens the box and it turns out to be real. Well, yeah, I guess you open up a pack and if it's real, then you put it all back and either way, now it's tampered with. 
Why doesn't this one say first edition on it? Oh no. That, yeah. No, that's not like Whoa, some of them don't even say first edition on them. That's bad. I want to know if he's able to get his money back. Uh, I, feel, I feel like I, I feel bad watching this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God, my God, bro. Oh, oh, my God. oh, no, they're not even Pokemon cards. Wow. They must have put a lot of thought into this to match the weight and everything of that. Oh. G.I. Joe? G.I. Joe? G.I. Joe? It could have been anything else. It's got a sense of humor about it. G.I. Joe. What? It's not even a thing. G what if those G.I. Joe cards actually turn out to be worth like trillions of dollars one day? Well, you know, actually they've been around since uh, looks like the early 90s. I didn't even know G.I. Joe cards were worth anything. Maybe they are. I don't know. Oh, this guy, the, the guy who sold them it, he's the one who's out a lot of money because uh, it's easy for Logan to go to the previous guy and be like, hey, we just bought this, we got it authenticated, you told me you would refund me if it wasn't right, uh, give me the money. But that guy who paid $2.7 million is gonna have to go to the first guy and try to get his money back. It just get, it gets harder and harder to go the further down you go. I have a feeling Logan's gonna get his money back because he's Logan Paul. The other guy, he just might be screwed. $2.7 million gone. What do you do on that point? Do you do you insure it or is it you're just taking the risk? You spend that much money, it's like, well, there's a small chance it's worthless. And in this case, you know, you invest enough and every now and then you hit a worthless one. We all got duped. Agreed? This guy's about to cry. A agreed? Yeah, we I think everyone agrees that that everyone got duped. But now it's now he's got egg on his face because his entire company's reputation is now shattered. I don't know if this guy unfortunately would be able to recover from this. Because here's the thing, even if every other box he authenticated is is real, everyone would have the slight doubt in their mind of what if it isn't. All you got to do is be wrong once to lose all your credibility in his industry. And uh, that sucks. So it, uh, it's going to be up to them to make this right, uh, just to repair that reputation. I don't, even, I don't even know. What do you do at that point? You probably just shut down and then start up again and change your name. That's probably what you do. I don't know if Jacob knew it was That's like, where it gets That's is where I'm at, right. There's going to be a whole other process that goes into this. This is, this is, I would have never purchased this if it wasn't BBC rap. We only buy it because of that. But because of that, I felt confident it was legit. It was good. Oh man, see now, it reminds me of a, a kind of like a lawsuit where you basically sue whoever has the most amount of money. And at, at this case, it's like, well, Logan's not going to sue the other guy. You know, I don't know if he has 2.7. Th this company has insurance for, for this very purpose. Now, the damage isn't so much like whatever their insurance payout is going to be. It's going to be their reputation. Their, their whole business is basically this. Wow. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a super positive person, bro. And I'll always be the one to look at the bright side. And I'm trying, but this is very hard. It's just so sad for all parties involved. It's sad for the Pokemon community. Like how, how many- Oh, that's a great shot. I love that transition of getting him quiet, but then the talking behind and cut to the scene. Again, the editing is so good. I just went from 11 first edition boxes to five. No, yeah, to five. We got five. End of story. Wow, okay, so let's see if Logan Paul gets his money back. I have a feeling he will. He, he's probably got lawyers on payroll out the wazoo that will, will do anything to make him whole again. But with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, add me on Instagram, add me on the podcast down below in the description. We got new episodes posting every single Sunday. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.